What's going on, you flamingos? Are you someone who loves using a variety of AI tools, but you are sick and tired of spending maybe multiple subscriptions for different generators just to do one small video? Well, what if I told you that you could have everything that you need in one place? Crea AI literally might be the solution, not just for you, but for every single content creator. In the past month, Crea has rolled out some exciting updates that could literally change the game. Firstly, back in September, they introduced image generation, making it easy to create high quality visuals directly within their platform. Then just last week, Crea made the big move by partnering up with the top AI video generators. What was once a simple AI image enhancer has now become a colossus for AI video creation. So has Crea AI become the ultimate content creation tool? Let's find out. Let's start with the Flux image generator. Now I actually did a deep dive on this last month. So if you want a more detailed breakdown, feel free to check out this video. Firstly, the generation speed is incredibly fast. Watch how much faster it generates four images in comparison to Leonardo AI. One thing it actually does really well on is text and logo design. And have a look at some of these generations that I just created. I mean, here's a bunch of random ones, like this one here, Cyberpunk, and that actually looks like the actual Cyberpunk logo from the game. Uh, if we scroll down more, we got here, it's something KA, and I think this is actually representing Korea AI. So yeah, it's interesting. Now I'm actually not sure which Flux model it's using, whether it's Flux Dev, Flux Schnell, or even Flux Pro 1.1, the new one. But here's a quick comparison with a bunch of images that I generated within Creo and using the new Flux Pro 1.1 model. Now let's move on to the original reason why I fell in love with Creo. It's the image enhancement tool that they have. I mean, initially I was using Magnific AI when image enhancement tools first came out, but I mean, that quickly changed as soon as Creo came out and I could see the difference in price. I mean, Magnific, look at this, it's still $59 per month. I mean, let's have a quick look at the pricing right now. Like Creo plans monthly, the most expensive one is $60. Literally, you can get away with just the basic plan for $10. Now using the same images that I generated in Flux, let's put it through the enhancement tool and I'll show you guys a before and after of how powerful this tool really is. Now let's talk about the latest update, which is the AI video generators that are now embedded inside Korea AI. Now here's what it looks like. And when we go down here, here you can see it's got literally Luma, Runway, Kling, Halo, which is Minimax, and it's also got Pika AI. And even the fact that they got Halo AI, I mean, this literally only came out and like was readily available to the public on subscription tiers like last month. So hats off to them for like doing a partnership with them. And if you guys want to have a deep dive at how good that video generator is, go watch this video. You'll, you literally will not use any other video generator besides it. Now, one cool thing is when I click into it, you can see here that the options change based on what features are available. So when I go to Kling, it gives me camera motion. When I go to Pika, there's also the option there for effects. So that's actually quite impressive that they've already been able to integrate the specific features for each individual generator. 
All right, let's put the video generator to a test. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna generate a bunch of text to video prompts and we're gonna use every single generator. I'm not gonna use Pika, but I'll use every other one so we can compare. Now let's do the same thing for image to video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab those images that we just generated and I'm gonna throw them through here and we're gonna test out each individual model. So you can see there guys, there's obviously a big difference in the generation quality depending on which one you use. One key thing to point out, obviously, if you're using Halo and Kling, you're waiting 10 minutes in comparison to one minute for Luma and Runway. And that's the exact same thing on their website. So it's got nothing to do with Creo. All right, let's talk about the pros and the cons for doing this. First of all, the quality of the generations are consistent with what you would get if you went directly to the website. One thing I also really liked was the interface. I really like how we've got this main big generation in the middle and all you're doing is scrolling up. But the another thing that I love is this thing here where it's session and you can click new session and you can go back to the, I love that. that. That is such a great, like if anyone that's used Runway where you have to go to assets and oh, if anything, Runway I think now has the worst interface. The generation usage costs are reasonable, okay? I'm gonna use the word reasonable. And this is how it works if you've never used Crea AI before. You can see here, it's telling me what I'm using as part of my usage, okay? So obviously most of my usage has gone to videos now, but all those videos that I just showcased, this is how much I've used so far. Another thing that I really like, and I'm really interested to see how this goes like, let's say you've got Luma. They haven't released an update in quite a while in comparison to the others. Let's say they release something. Are we able to quickly change that model through here and test it out straight away? And I think that's probably one of the key things here. With video generators, they'll constantly have updates. So I think that's the number one thing. And I'm interested to see once one of these video generators update, I'll be testing that. Now, what are some of the things that I don't really like? The basic plan only lets you generate one video at a time, and the pro plan lets you only generate two videos at a time. Video generation lengths are maxed out to about, I'd say five or six seconds. So like Runway and Kling, if you go directly to their website, they have like 10 second generation. So you lose that feature. There's also no lip sync feature. So Runway, Kling and Pika all have a lip sync feature you're not able to utilize that through here. What are my final thoughts on this product? I honestly think this is a big W for Crea AI, literally, because I could see this now, I could think of all of these video generators and all these image generators, they're now gonna want to reach out to different uh, companies similar to Crea, they might even read out, reach out to Magnific and they might start offering their services to these platforms. I'm actually quite impressed with how many partnerships they were able to make a deal with. And the two specific ones, Flux and Halo. When Flux came out initially to everybody, Korea AI came out of nowhere and said, hey, it's all good. We're gonna use the Flux model. And that came out like instantly. I was impressed by that. And then like Halo, it's only like what, like the last month it's been trending and they've already scored a partnership with them. So this that's huge. I'm very interested to see where this goes, the additional features that they're going to release, but I honestly think Korea AI have ended 2024 very strong. Am I going to use this as my ongoing video image generator? I could honestly see myself if they were able to release those additional features like 10 second generations, and also lip sync features, I could literally see myself potentially canceling all of my other subscription plans and going directly through Crea and just increasing my plan potentially because they don't have an unlimited plan. And when you're someone like me that needs unlimited because I'm constantly doing projects, that's something I look for. So look, it's yet to be determined, but I, I'm very optimistic and I'm, I'm very proud of Crea AI. Anyway, that's it for the video guys. I will see you guys in the next one.
Peace.